is up, guys? Welcome back to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And we're back today with another amazing video suggested by you guys, our awesome subscribers. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hey, make sure to stick around. If you like our vibe, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the post notification bell because we drop videos every single day. Every single day, two to three times a day, and you'll want to know when those videos drop. So I'm going to give you three seconds to smash that big red subscribe button in one, two, three. Welcome to the family, guys. We are so glad you are now part of the best family on YouTube. And whenever we say family, we mean you guys. But today, guys, we are listening to a band that I have definitely never heard of. Babe, tell them who we're listening to today. So we are listening to Strawberry Alarm. I've never heard of them. And Is it Strawberry Alarm or Strawberry Alarm Clock? It's like Strawberry Alarm. Not like Alarm Clock, but Alarm. Strawberry, Strawberry Alarm. Strawberry Alarm. It is one of the most unique band names we've heard. That, uh, that That's that's really the reason we picked it. I mean, it really wasn't suggested that much. We were like, what in the world is with that name and the title of the song? Yeah. So we had to pick it. And the title of the song is just about as strange as the name. It was It's called Incense and Peppermints. Guys, I... I need to know the backstory on the, <laughs> the name of the band and definitely the backstory on the song title. I don't know what we're getting. I have no idea what we're getting into Abs today. Absolutely no idea because a lot of times, you know, you can hear or you can uh, read a title and it kind of gives you maybe a little hint. But what, I mean, what the heck are they going to sing about incense and peppermint? So I honestly have no idea what to expect, what genre to expect. Like I said, it stood out in the comments just because of the name of the title. So we were like, that intrigues us. We definitely got to check that one out. So... No more talking. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Again, we are listening to Strawberry Alarm Clock. It did hit the clock on it. Oh, so it is Strawberry Alarm Strawberry Clock. Strawberry Alarm okay. Clock. That makes it even, even weirder. So, Incense and Peppermint, 1967. So we're going back a little bit, but before we start, let's go ahead and put on the trusty headphones. And let's get right into this. Strawberry Alarm Clock, Incense and Peppermints. So, um, this is definitely, like, we haven't listened to a lot from the 1960s, mm. I feel like, but this is psychedelic. Like, this is giving like, me major psychedelic vibes right it's now. It's giving me, they look like they're, like, in the, uh, in the castle on Aladdin. That's what, that's the type of vibe <laughs> it gives me, like, they're in Aladdin. <laughs> Sorry to pause this. You, you're 100. percent This has got to be back in the side, the psychedelic times. Like these, like acid. You know, back then. That's that's definitely what I'm getting from them. Like they're on that acid. But I definitely did not expect the voice to come out of that kid. <laughs> he he looks like he should be some a, a cast member on the Brady Bunch. I was, he does. Look like I was not expecting that voice to to come out like that. But. Crazy. I'm still getting the Aladdin vibes from what they're wearing, well, though. I mean, that's. I think that's just, like, the 60s vibe. I mean, I forgot what the name of the print is in the back, but I know that's, like, very psychedelic times. And then you, you see the outfits. You see the guy yeah. sitting down playing his guitar, okay? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> these dudes may be on on that uh, that acid, that LSD. That's. I mean, it, it's definitely cool. It's it's cool, the song, but... no, It's, every, different, every, it's different than a lot yes, of stuff we've very, heard. very. I haven't done something, though... Know, from the 1960s in a long time, but so far I'm liking it. Throw cowbell. Throwing up by the one side is the least you can do. Beat makes and politics, nothing is new. A yardstick for lunatics, one point of view. Good sense, innocence, cripple mankind. Dead 
Definitely, definitely unique and very different. I think wow. that it's just very different to us because we definitely haven't explored that time or that genre, but it's definitely psychedelic. <laughs> uh, oh, definitely. Like, like whenever, you know, before I really knew who the Beatles were, you know, I always heard of the Beatles, like, they were the ones that wear the circle glasses and did the LSD and all that. Like, that's definitely the type of vibes that I got from this band, like, they just definitely seemed so like psychedelic hippies. Like they were taking you on a trip. And you know what I mean by like, taking you on a trip. La, la, la. Like, yeah. Like, it, it, I mean, it was, def- it, was, it was so cool because I haven't reacted to anything yeah. that, you know, that different and that unique from, you know, especially from that time era. So I, I, I definitely, I want to hear more from them. Just, again, the title of the song, the title of the band, so okay, unique. Like, I want to so hear more. I still don't know the meaning of the title of the song. Because after they said Incense mm. and Peppermint, mm. they said something about it, like, being meaningless. So I was like, I don't know what the mm. meaning of the song is. So if you guys could drop down in the comments mm. and explain that to me. And then they, they mentioned beatniks and politics. Yeah. But then one line that mm. I think I do understand, a lot of it I was... You know, just like trying to figure it out. But he said, um, who cares what games you choose? Right. Nothing to win and nothing Nothing to lose. lose. I thought, Mm. I mean, judging by the the, the Mm. view, not the view, but how the song looked and how all they, how they looked while they were performing it was like, who cares what drugs you choose? I mean, you you gain nothing from not doing it and, you know, nothing to win and nothing to lose. So basically it's just like, it's your choice to do it. Rather you decide to or not. So it's like they were talking about people's views or opinions on drugs, maybe. Maybe. So, but I still don't get the incense of peppermint. No. <laughs> Guys, please, give us the give us the backstory of how they got their band name and definitely you know what the title of this song. Have, what What is incense and peppermints about? But it, it was definitely overall a psychedelic vibe. And, you know, personally, I want to hear more from this band. You know, they're, they're very intriguing just because... There's so many different characters. The lead singer looks like a Brady Bunch member. You had, you know, the the crazy hair guy looked like the silver disco ball. He, he, he and there looked, was looked a like, guy with like the red like yes. glasses, like the typical round yes. red glasses. I kind of really like that. It's so different. And so make sure to spam the comments. Give us some more from this group. But guys, this is going to be the end of our video. We appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Come join the best family on YouTube. As we always send you guys out with, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. You are blessed, and we'll see y'all.